Welcome to Panoramatus. We are here now on Mirabel Square. That's where Panoramatus was founded in 1954. In 1964, we were lucky to be part of the movie Sound of Music. We were driving the stars to all the different film locations. Julie Andrews was here, Christopher Plummer and the Seven Kids. When they had days off, they were using our minivans for private sightseeing, going into Austria, Vienna, Danube Valley, and also into Germany, Bavaria. The Sound of Music is based on the life of Maria von Trapp. When she was 17, she came to the convent Nürnberg, where she worked as a teacher. Captain von Trapp needed some help for the children to educate and teach them. So they sent Maria to the house of Captain von Trapp. And after a couple of years, Maria and Captain von Trapp fell in love and they got married in 1927. In 1935, with the big depression, Georg Ritter von Trapp lost all his money, which he had invested in a bank in Zell am See. So Maria got the idea to rent out rooms and she also rented out rooms to a priest. One of the priests was Franz Wasner and he started to bring music to the house. Captain von Trapp was not so happy, but finally agreed and they made a career also in Austria. They were singing at the Salzburg festivals. Georg von Trapp was a war hero in the First World War. He was the captain of a Navy boat and he was living in the Austrian Hungary Empire. 1911, he got married to Lady Whitehead. The Whiteheads were the inventor of the torpedoes. Later on, Georg von Trapp got the medal, Maria Theresenorden, which is one of the highest awards you can get in Austria. We are walking now in direction Nürnberg Abbey. Maria walked this road many times. And as you know, Maria was writing the memoirs and she was able to sell the book to a German filmmaker. He produced the first movie, The Trapp Family. Broadway saw how successful the movie was in Germany. Uh, so they were thinking to write a musical. Maria went to the opening night and the Broadway musical was sold out for many years. Hollywood was thinking to produce a movie around the family. That is when Sound of Music was born. 
I personally knew Maria Augusta von Trapp. The last time I met her was in Stowe, Vermont in 1983. That's where the Trapp family lodges and where members of the family are still living today. Maria von Trapp passed away in 1987, exactly 40 years after Georg von Trapp. All family members are buried at the graveyard on property next to the Trapp family lodge. In Salzburg, they lived in a suburb called Eigen, which is down from the Geisberg. The Geisberg was the house mountain of the Trapp family. They were used to hike there nearly every day. We are on the Mönchsberg at the Museum of Modern Art. This was the place where one of the scenes from the Do Re Mi song was filmed. The whole Do Re Mi song was filmed within 120 kilometers. And little Kurt Duan Chase said, this is the most beautiful view he has ever seen. If you look down the Salzburg, I think everybody can agree with Kurt. We are now in front of the Lake Leopoldskron and the Palace of Leopoldskron. The Palace of Leopoldskron was used as the front side of the house of the Trapp family. For me, it's one of the most beautiful views here in Salzburg because you have on the left side the Geisberg and on the right side also the Fortress Hohe in Salzburg. We are now in the beautiful gardens of the Palace of Leopoldskron, which is a hotel nowadays too. And in the movie, they used this beautiful terrace for having tea, and the children met the first time the Baroness. And there was also the very dramatic scene filmed here when they had the boat ride. They had to do it a couple of times, and one time, Julie Andrews fell out the wrong side, and little Gretel had to be rescued by the other team members. God thanks, nothing happened. We are here at the Hotel Bristol at Christopher Plummer's favorite bar. Christopher Plummer and Charmian Carr stayed here for over three months. In the evening, Christopher Plummer was playing the piano and Charmian Carr was listening to his songs. And one evening, Charmian told me that Christopher Plummer introduced her to the Austrian schnapps. We are now on the terrace of Christopher Plummer's suite. Christopher Plummer had a view to the Hotel Mirabelle, which is on the right side. That's where all the children stayed except Liesl. Liesl stayed here at the Bristol with him. And on the left side, there's the Hotel Sacher, where Julie Andrews stayed. Welcome to Julie Andrews favorite hotel and hotel room, the Sacher Hotel in Salzburg.
You can imagine that Julie Andrews enjoys staying here, this few incredible hotel, Sacha. The rest of the gang were going out and had fun, did sightseeing, but Julie, with her little daughter, stayed mainly here in the hotel. In 1987, she came back to Salzburg uh, to produce The Sound of Christmas with Placido Domingo and John Denver. And she stayed again here. And in 2014, she came back for the 50th anniversary and they filmed a big interview and only Julie were not able to go out because everybody would recognize her in Salzburg. We are now at the Schloss Fromburg. Schloss Fromburg was used as the front side of the house. As you remember, Marie arrived here, coming to the family with the guitar and the suitcase and singing, I have confidence. The second time you saw the house and the entrance when the Van Trapps left Austria in direction Italy by train. They had to leave Austria because they didn't want to do a propaganda for Adolf Hitler, sing for his birthday, and neither he didn't want to take over a submarine in Germany. They didn't cross the Swiss Alps, they just took the train to Italy, and from Italy they went by boat to the USA, where they started their new singing career. The breakthrough came 1940 with Columbia Agency. They got a very famous concert in New York and later on they did 125 concerts a year. The Traps were very successful worldwide as the singing family. They were able to buy a farm in Vermont. They rented out rooms on the farm and they started a squire school and they had summer camps. A lot of things were going on at Trapp Family Lodge. In 1983, the lodge burned down and they were able to rebuild it. And it's now a beautiful holiday resort. On property, they brew the famous Trapp Lager and it tastes like a beer in Austria. And if you sit in the beer garden, you think you are in Salzburg. When Maria sold the rights of her book for 9,000 US dollars to the German filmmaker, she was able to influence the German movie. Later on, Maria tried to influence Robert Weiss too. She flew into Salzburg and talked to Robert Weiss, and Robert Weiss told her, listen, this is not your story, that's our story. All the names are different, it's not your children. Maria was very upset, but later when the film came out, she congratulated Robert Weiss, what a beautiful movie it is. I hope that you have enjoyed this extra information. If you appreciate our services, please let your friends know. And we're looking forward to have you soon back in Salzburg. And remember, the hills are still alive with the sound of music in Salzburg. <laughs>